Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. It's still Daniel Month. We continue. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> and, and, yeah. we're continuing on in the history with a gift from Jose Arteaga. Jose Arteaga, you may deficit. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That was just, it was a weak start. Yeah, you were laughing into it. You can't laugh they on something can't laugh. serious. Yeah, it's very serious business. It's serious business here. Yeah. And I have to fight through the illegitimacy to say, <laughs> Jose Ardiaga, you magnificent bastard! Hi. Now he is on his way to becoming a patron saint. Oh, but when I, trace, when white I, dog. Yeah, when I inventoried all the bottles, yeah. I discovered that he's got like nine. Okay. Down there. I feel like I've met Jose. You may have. Maybe? Okay, so, remember in history, uh, as of yesterday, we were up to a rye clear, not actually new make, but talking about the new make of rye whiskey as it made its way into American history. Mm -hmm. And today we're into American moonshine, more classically made with corn. Yeah. Now, why did they use corn? Like, remember, up until Prohibition, rye was the whiskey being drunk by everybody. Yeah. Up until Prohibition, it was rye. I mean, they were, there was bourbon, don't get me wrong, but rye owned the common whiskey market. Was it a popularity thing or was it just it's easier to get that kind of grain? It was a popularity of ever, that's what everyone had been making in the Northeast, oh, so right? Oh, that had momentum. Yes. So then, uh, why did May make corn whiskey in Kentucky? Because corn was what they dominantly grew down in Kentucky. Oh. And as we all know, farmers are responsible for the history of whiskey and farmers are going to distill whatever grain is close at hand. Sure. That's why rye, that's why barley, and now in our case, that's why corn. That's why now, corn. Now, this is Buffalo Trace. So, a new make usually is kind of like hit or miss of whether or not it's gonna be nice. This is nice. It smells it's beautiful. beautiful. It's just yeah, it's, really it's nice. not that, it's, it's um, kind of a surprise to pick up a new make and find it so pretty. Yeah, it's, it's sweet and creamy. Now, remember Buffalo Trace dates back to one of the oldest continuing running distilleries in the US. Yeah. And it's been known under the name, it's owned by Sazerac, but it's been known by um, Stag. It was called George C. Stag. It was uh, OFC Distillery. And then they renamed the distillery in the 90s to Buffalo Trace. Mm -hmm. And from my, my understanding was someone that worked to tell me, what happened was people kept coming on the tour and saying, we want some of the Buffalo Trace. And like, no, no, we don't actually make a whiskey called Buffalo Trace. That's just the name of the distillery. Right. And after a few rounds of that, they were like, F it, we're making a Buffalo <laughs> Trace. <laughs> Give the people what they want. Yeah. So this dates back to their distillery itself, that area in distilling, it dates back to 1775. Wow, this does not smell 62.5% alcohol? It does not. It's, wow. it's sweet and floral. Now why 62.5? Yeah. That is the maximum proof you can put it into a barrel at and still be called bourbon. Oh. So this, you're drinking yeah. what they put in a barrel. Pre-barreled whiskey. I think that's really cool. Now back in the, oh yeah, okay, hang on. So. That dead. just got very like vanilla milk, vanilla, like vanilla sugar milk, vanilla, and I'm getting like this tiny bit of citrus zest on the finish. Yes. Yeah. But, um, but if I was, we're um, from the taste, not in sixty percent territory. No, that, it does not fight you nearly as much as you would expect. I, I would have guessed, you know, mid to low fifties. Yeah, based on the taste. I totally agree with that. Hmm. It is a cooked mash, right? So I do get cereal notes in there, kind of like a yeasty cereal. Yeah. But surrounding it is vanilla milk. Way back there. Now I'm getting, so. I'm gonna add a little water and see if it opens it up. Underneath the sweet cream layer of vanilla, tiny bit of citrus zest in the finish. Yeah. There is this uh, dusty corn grainy note. Yeah. That, uh, I like it. Yeah. Now they call theirs White Dog. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna crack this open for you. Right. I'm gonna add like four new flavors. <clears throat> and it gets really sharp. It gets to be, it gets to taste like what you thought it was gonna taste like a little bit. It opens up all the cereal mash and slightly tangy, bitey notes. Yeah, yeah. It really dulls down that sweetness. It does. And, and now it's, it starts to get a little sour. And now it's hay-like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the damp hay type of vibe? Yeah. That was good, as is. Isn't that cool? As is. Okay, so, now we're into the era. As a matter of fact, you know, Buffalo Trace I did here. Buffalo Trace 
is one of uh, one of the distilleries that was legally allowed to still make whiskey during Prohibition. Oh, were they doing prescription filling? Yeah, medicinal whiskey. <laughs> and that leads to one of the reasons bourbon took over whiskey in the U.S., which is that during Prohibition, the majority of the distilleries that had legal licenses to make medicinal whiskey yeah. were all making bourbon. And so rye just collapsed. But the fluidity of laws mm -hmm. are a very funny thing. Back in the day, the only way you could do whiskey was to have a prescription for the medicinal effects. Drink it, you mean? Right, yeah. right. Today, it is very illegal to claim any medicinal effects. From alcohol, yeah. From alcohol. So it's completely oh, reversed. Man. It's completely Sm reversed. Smell the nose on the dickel. Tennessee new make. There's a camera here, Daniel. I know. Smell the nose on the dickle. <laughs> It'll be the best dickle you've ever put in your mouth. <laughs> that is nice. Well, Isn't it nice? Very yeah. perfumey and... Yeah. So see... It's, it's more floral. These are the kinds of things that, as a distiller, you start to get to know mm -hmm. the root characters of your spirit prior to it aging. So a lot of people say, well, if you have to wait for three years for something to taste good, how do you know when you put it in the barrel you had, you've had you done the right thing? Right. Now, I think we did you know, a while ago, we did an episode on the other channel talking about Moonshine and New Make. We'll link it up here. That being said, I think one of the things that came out from some of the conversations we were having is distillers will say, if you don't like the New Make, you're not gonna like the finished whiskey. Yeah, the, so even though they change <clears throat> dramatically, they change drastically, but drastically, they will say uh, barrels don't fix horrible new make. Yeah, they simply accent it, grow hey, it, and there's bring new things shelves. Out. Yeah, Zach, Holy Zach crap. built those so we have more room over here That's now. That's amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, Harold, yeah look I'll at, take a picture for look you. Look at how much more space there is over there now, yeah, because... and we still have all that we can't figure out what to do with. But shelves here. So what's on the new shelves? Uh, right now, it's no organization. Right now, all I did was take everything off the floor and put it up there okay. until we could organize it later. So, not on the floor, on the shelves. And yes. Then, of course, we got the standard places over yeah. down there. So, we almost have every wall covered except we got the vault in the vault. You just going to keep that under lock and key? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You just have to deny me something. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, so... I'm, I'm a, actually, I kind of dig this Buffalo Trace new make. Yeah. Do you want to try one of the Texan new makes, or do you want to just do some questions? Uh, We're already up to I, uh, eight minute count, I think. We can multitask here in the Whiskey Vault. We have mm -hmm. that level of professionalism and skill sets. So you want to do a Ranger Creek? Let's do a Ranger Creek. Well, I can't, I can't read questions and do your job. Or, uh, yeah, let's do the Ranger Creek White. The Spirit Monkey. In the, in the comments, if you haven't noticed, the spirit uh, monkey likes to refer so, to themselves in the third person. Here's what I'm going to say about the spirit monkey real quick before you read it. Yeah. Is at first, I was like, meh, whatever. He's yeah. always there. Okay. Now, you look, I, you look I find this growing affection. Right, the spirit monkey. And I sort of anticipate, like, I wonder what the spirit monkey's going to say. Right. And I regularly kind of chuckle. <laughs> and now I kind of, I might be a... I might be a fan of the spirit monkey, you know, and I want to, I want the spirit monkey to get a reply to this video with something, some version of the spirit monkey appreciates your your comments. So the spirit <laughs> monkey had been wondering where its dress coat went. Yeah, the day you wore that dress jacket. The spirit wonk, monkey wonders no more. <laughs> so, so I had the. Uh, so that is really old, and it was in my studio. Yeah, and it fit me, so I'm assuming it's mine. <laughs> And it's from, uh, it's, it's bespoke. It's bespoke. From the Gap. From <laughs> the Gap. All right, so what'd you pour here? That is the Ranger Creek new make. Okay, yeah. The Ranger Of what's gonna be their bourbon. What's good, so we can compare this to their bourbon. Yeah, no, oh, oh, and that reminds me, yeah, there's another comment, I don't know if it's the next one, but is it, uh, have anything that to do with Irish whiskey? Yes. Uh, what's well, about Green Spot? Yeah, yeah. Baptiste de Latte. One of my first love was the green spot, but one day I had a small glass of poutine. Is that it? Poutine. Poutine. I hated it. And when I took a glass of green spot again, a few days after I recognized the taste of poutine in my green spot, I had to stop drinking it for a few weeks before I could like it again. Yeah, so this has happened to me where I drink something, love it, then I try the new make that I don't like, and when I go back to the aged version, I can see the characteristics that I avoided on the first one. And yeah, it's a it's a thing. Man. So you can see what the barrel changes and what the barrel doesn't change. Right. Right? And it changes 
it, it's it's really interesting because the just the intrinsic deep-seated qualities of the whiskey are there but it's like the seed is there mm -hmm. but everything else is dramatically it's like sweeter and more evolved and more, and more vanilla nuanced and more yeah. complex but the the core but it, it built on the same body and right. so that's the thing is if your framing is bad then the house no matter how pretty it looks is gonna come apart or no so uh, let's just make it really visceral and weird like a person's skeleton their frame yeah right so what you're gonna pack onto that can be very very different but at the end of the day it's going to be this on your basic structure yeah. so in a case like mine it's, it's you know i don't want to say adonis <laughs> but it it looks like that when compared to <laughs> Half a, a perfectly proportioned human being a to half, your right. A halfling. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, what was your favorite new make of uh, the three? So, I think the first thing you poured the buffalo, buffalo? trace. Yeah, yeah me just too. for right out of the bottle. Yeah, not I'm just going to new make drinkability. That was super nice here. I agree. I think my least favorite new make was the Ranger Creek new make, but. The Ranger Creek bourbon. But the Ranger Creek bourbon, compared to all of these new makes, this is oh, just yeah. the nicest thing because it's a finished whiskey. Yeah. And blah, 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 blah. Okay, here's fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.